Hello, welcome to the Everton News Daily. Everton have withdrew their appeal of the two-point deduction for breaching PSR rules. The hearing was due to take place later this month. Everton have already uh, been hit with six points this season. Then were given a further two, which the club decided to appeal. Uh, but Nottingham Forest had the result of their appeal earlier this week and didn't get any points back. And it seems because Everton are safe in the Premier League this season, that the club have just decided to uh, draw a line under it. Um, not incurring any further costs, of course, as well of going to the appeal. And the club maybe have just decided to let's just put an end to this appeal this season and let's get on with it. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, the outcome of the... There's another kind of charge hanging over us, isn't it, with regards to a, uh, a tax payment or something. So we'll see what happens with that when... That comes uh, around. Uh, according to Premier League rules, if Everton were to go into administration before the final game of the season, the nine-point deduction would apply to this season, not next season. That's according to The Athletic. Um, there's just more and more of these stories going around about administration, but it seems highly unlikely that that's going to happen. Obviously, there's a lot of confusion at the minute with regards to Triple Seven trying to take over Everton Football Club. It looked the other day as if it was done. There's other reports now saying that it isn't done and they're still in there. There's reports saying them and MSP might come together to take control of the club and then look to sell it on and as well as other interested parties. And I just don't think we're getting any kind of clarity on this anytime soon. Earlier this week, we had a statement from the Everton Shareholders Association asking Farad Mashiri to bring the negotiations with 777 to an end because it didn't seem as though they could fulfil their obligations right now. And we've also had a statement from the FAB as well, calling for much the same thing. But here we are at the end of the week and uh, we're no further on with it, really. Um, the whole football club needs clarity. You heard Sean Dyche yesterday speaking about it, saying we don't know what's happening, basically. Um, we can't really get on with the proper planning for the summer because things are up in the air and it's no good to anybody. And we just, you know, again, we asked Farad Mashiri to... Uh, to bring this process to a halted triple seven can't come up with you know what they need to come up with it needs to be some kind of deadline but it doesn't seem like there is and the longer it goes on the more uncertainty it brings and the more um the more the threat of of, of administration rather uh, is there for everybody to keep talking about keep writing stories about which creates that uncertainty and that doubt within the supporters so hopefully Mr. Mashiri will sort this out as soon as possible because it doesn't seem like the Premier League are that bothered at the minute. Uh, Everton's director of football, Kevin Thelwell, has today revealed that he and the manager have spoken to Seamus Coleman and offered him the chance to remain at Goodison Park for another season. Uh, they can they will continue to talk over the coming weeks to uh, to get to a decision on that. Uh, Kevin Thelwell also confirmed that players will need to be sold this summer and they'll be exploring the loan market to help bring in players to boost the squad for next season. I think everybody is prepared for this uh, with the uncertainty around the club. The, the, it is a case of needing to sell and reinvest in the squad. We know that the club's probably going to need to bring in at least half a dozen players this summer, more than that. Players will be going out, there'll be loans, there'll be frees, and Everton are going to try and create a bit of money to actually buy some players as well. So there's a lot of work to be done this summer, and um, Kevin Thelwell trying to keep people updated with uh, the state of play. Sean Dyche has been named the manager of the month for April. Uh, Everton played six games in April, and he won four of those games, only losing one and drawing the other one. Well deserved manager of the month. He was in with uh, some good company as well, and he, he thoroughly deserved that victory, uh, that award rather, as he dragged Everton away from the relegation zone. So, congratulations to Sean Dyche, his team, and the players, of course. Uh, Triple Seven partners have called in a turnaround and crisis management expert to ex uh, to assist rather with various operational challenges. Um, Samuel Alini, I think that is from the Financial Times, is reporting this today. Again, highlighting the struggles that 777 are having 
And you know, how does this help Everton? It just pours more petrol on the fire, really. Now, this story may well be battered away again. Who knows? But that is out there right now. And again, it just pours more doubt on the uh, the hope that they are going to, or their hope that they're going to get control of Everton Football Club. And finally, young Everton goalkeeper, academy goalkeeper, George Pickford has signed his first professional deal at Everton. He has been at Everton since the age of 11. He is turned 17, now therefore can sign his first professional contract. He has signed a two-year deal until the summer of 2026. So congratulations to George there. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.